today on Be Something Wonderful. Turn all negative conditions and realities into fulfillment now. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back. Saturday morning here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. And I have a big video for you today. I want to talk about this client. This is a great guy. I had such a great session with him. And what he was talking about, he's a trader. He trades in stocks. <laughs> and, uh, and, and he's really um, down <laughs> by the downed conditions that, he, that are being reflected in his 3D experience. He was talking about the Tesla stock and all of this. But, but here's the thing, guys. This is a, this, the lesson today applies to anything in your life, any condition in your life, whether it's health, wealth, love, whatever it is. That his, his focus, of course, is on the conditions. And as I always say, decide who you're going to be. Decide who you are, and then the conditions must reflect that. So instead of trying to decide what the conditions are going to do, or what they're doing, or what they mean, right, in terms of trying to establish some meaning of everything out there, or what the te Tesla stock's going to do, or what Elon Musk is going to do, this was our whole discussion, decide who you are with respect to all of it and stay there, right? So remember, decide who you are. But the idea, the whole idea of persistent, persisting in your wish fulfilled came up, right? As he said, I'm persisting in a higher stock price or whatever it is that he, he's creating. Remember, persisting is not about tolerating what you judge as horrible conditions or realities until they change. Hear this. It's about changing the conditions by seeing and choosing the potential of all possibilities in those conditions. In other words, choosing who you are, who you're going to be, where all potential realities exist and have their being. And then those conditions must change, right? That's what a couple questions came up in this idea when I talked about leaning in to and integrating the judged unwanted conditions in realities, what that means. That's what that means. Lean into the potential of all possibilities, as opposed to sitting there and fixating and trying to decide what to do with the conditions or what they're going to do or what this person's going to do or what this person or what this means. You decide who you are. In other words, you decide what reality means to you, all of it. And then that's what it must be because you are reality. And there's nothing apart from your condition, from your experience of reality. So, so it means making a decision from deep within to be who you desire to be and staying there. Not what Elon with this guy, not what Elon Musk is going to do or the, uh, the Tesla stock's going to do or what's the condition of it today. But decide who you are, seeing reality from that new perspective and vantage point, no matter what it appears to be, right? Instead of judging and complaining about what the con conditions should be, but are not, right? The thoughts, feelings, and things that we talked about yesterday. You give them all the meaning and reality they have. So you decide what they are. They, so they can't be what you don't assume they are because you are reality. Very powerful today. Let's hit it like we never have before. Allow all negative, what you judge as negative and unwanted conditions, those thoughts, feelings, and things, those people, events, and circumstances, to deepen your identification with your new self, your new reality and new identity. Use all of it, hear this, to deepen your identification with that new preferred you, that new preferred reality. That's 
powerful. <laughs> so assume and see all unfolding conditions as evidence and proof of, of you standing in your new identity and reality rather than you trying to change and escape from the old or no longer preferred identity in reality or what you believe is the ide your identity in reality. Use it as proof and evidence that you're standing in it and as it right now. That's powerful. <laughs> Said it again. Allow all conditions to be evidence and proof of who you are now, your choice, your preferred reality and identity, rather than who you were, the, the, the reality and identity that's no longer your choice. Use it, all of it, as evidence of who you decide to be right now, your new preferred identity and reality. Then that's what they must be because it's law. Because conditions are conditions, but I am, as one of my famous clients said, right? You give conditions, thoughts, feelings, and things, people, events, and circumstances, all the meaning they have. They have no meaning. So when you call them horrible conditions, or I think someone was posting a comment about having these horrible thoughts, right? You give them those meaning. They have no meaning or reality outside of the meaning that you give them. They're not reality. You are. So you give them all the reality, identity, and meaning they have. You, as an I am awareness, our, our existence itself, your existence itself. So no condition can be anything or can be, period, without you. Powerful. Let's continue. Just because you're seeing and even experiencing them doesn't mean you are them. Do you see it? You are the awareness within which they appear, that I am awareness. You determine whether they have reality or power or authority over you. Right? That, that's, Jesus was still the Christ, the Son of the living God, no matter what conditions appeared. Right? You are Christ, the Son of the living God. You are all Christ. Right? You are all I am. Right? So no matter what. So when, when Jesus said to Pontius Pilate, the conditions, the reality that, that was appearing, it wasn't Jesus trying to escape from it or deny it or ignore it. He transcended it by saying, you would have no authority, no power at all against me unless it had been given to you from above, John 19, 11. It, meaning, Jesus was saying, you would have no meaning, no identity, no reality, unless, you, unless I say so. I am. I am that higher authority. I am awareness. Unless you say so. You are source, and there is no other. I don't know how, how many times we could say that. When you assume and see all appearances and conditions as serving you, as your desired reality unfolding no matter what, or as you unfolding no matter what, the appearances and conditions must change. They must become, you must move to that new reality of those changed appearances and conditions. If they are preferred, they are proof of who you are now. If they are contrary or not what you prefer, they're evidence of who you were, but no longer. Do you see it? Deepening your identification with your new self and assumption of your new reality. Hear it again. So it doesn't matter what are the, the Tesla stocks going up or down or whatever that Elon Musk is doing. <laughs> I'm having fun with this because, and I know to him it's not fun. He feels like he's losing a lot of money. But again, remember, if, if those conditions are preferred, they are proof of who you are now. If they are contrary or not what you prefer, they are evidence of who you were, right? In both cases, they deepen your identification with your new choice, your new preferred self, your new identity, your new assumption, your new reality. Very powerful. In other words, and I don't know how many words I can use. <laughs> In other words, all thoughts, feelings, and things, people's events and conditions, the appearances within that I am awareness, become the meaning you give them. 
<laughs> it's not about persisting until conditions change. It's that that you're persisting in your new identity changes those conditions. <laughs> now, instantly, there's not, we're not talking about delays and all that stuff that I know a lot of channels talk about that, the delay, they, they read it somewhere or they heard it somewhere or some spiritual teacher talked about the delay in 3D reality. And we do, we've even talked about that, the idea that the mirror has a delay, but there's no real delay. You're the delay. Just be who you are being that you want to be. Right? It's not about persisting into conditions. It's that your persisting changes those new conditions. You're in that new identity. Remember, persisting in your preferred new identity and reality is not about trying to be someone. I've, I made this point in a few videos now. Or something you are not. Or trying to see or feel something you don't see or feel. Rather, it's about choosing making a decision of who you desire to be in the reality you prefer to occupy and staying there. That's what that's about. Hear it again. Persisting in your preferred new identity and reality is not about trying to be something or, so, or someone or something you believe you are not. Remember, you are all identities. You're all realities. Or trying to see or feel something you don't believe you see or feel or perceive. It's about choosing, making a decision from deep within of who you desire to be in the reality you prefer to occupy right now and staying there. Then, then, seeing all conditions as your new reality unfolding from within and as evidence of who you desire to be now. Allow all what you judge as negative thoughts and feelings and conditions and things to serve to deepen your identification with the new you, to serve you and deepen your identification, to serve you and deepen your identification with the new you and the new reality versus, as, as, versus as seeing it as evidence that I am not who I desire to be yet. I, am not, I don't have what I desire to have yet. I'm losing or I have lost. Instead, have it all serve you to deepen your new identity. That's what we're talking about today and every day. Why? Because remember, you're in the center of all realities, all realities, all identities, all of infinity intersects where you're standing right now. Wow. All of them. So it doesn't mean, so if you see something, it doesn't mean you're in that reality. You're always in all realities. You exist everywhere, all at once and you are everything. But it doesn't mean that you're choosing that reality. It doesn't mean that, that you're living that reality unless you identify with it, unless you choose, unless you decide, unless the power is given from above you as an I am awareness. Right? So you're in all frames superimposed one over the other, all identities one superimposed uh, over the other, with you having a certain viewpoint or, or, vote or, or, or perspective in which you're seeing reality. You are at the center of all realities, all identities, all possibilities, because you are all that is. Just because you think it, a thought, just because you feel that thought and, and see conditions out there, doesn't mean you are those conditions or are it or are the thought or are the feeling. It, or that it's your reality. It's not who you are. It's not ultimate reality. You choose what to give authority and power to. You choose, but, but don't choose with invalidating those realities and identities that are not your preference or choice. So don't choose by invalidating, saying that, I did, that, that reality or thought or feeling is invalid or not. Instead, choose it knowing it's one potential. Integrate it. Lean into it. Bring it within. Bring it back into the... Uh, let it dissolve back into the quantum field of potential. Right? See it all as unfolding for you, through you, as your chosen identity and reality, and it must be. It's law. That's how you turn every what you judge as negative condition, thought, feeling, or thing, or reality, into absolute fulfillment right now.
I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and your beautiful comments on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the ambassadors, the Be Something Wonderful ambassadors at Be Something Wonderful dot, at facebook.com slash, um, <laughs> slash um, be something wonderful dot com. I forgot what that <laughs> at facebook.com uh, slash be something wonderful and um, or slash groups slash be something wonderful. I think it's something like that. <laughs> anyway, we're on Facebook and uh, we're, we also have a, a, a um, I'm just giddy today, guys. I'm giddy with reality. Giddy. I always am, but it just is something light about creation. And uh, you can also find our, our, our corporate page, corporate page, our business page, or whatever you want to call it, the Be Something. I'm just having trouble with the words today. Uh, our, our Be Something Wonderful uh, has a page. Organization page is the word I wanted to use. And you can find us there at Be Something Wonderful. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, and also on TikTok at Be Something Wonderful. And of course, guys, our membership channel, I'm going to be making another announcement on the live stream, our 10th live event, our first live event of 2024, this month, January 28th, 2024, at 9 a.m. in the morning, Pacific Coast Standard Time, right here. I'm going to come to you live from the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas with our 10th live event. And I, I notice you're, we're starting to receive questions. The team says we're getting questions here. At info at be something wonderful.com. Continue to send your questions. As I said, we may not get to them all, we, and, but we always cover it somehow in a video on the channel. Somehow we get to it. In shorts, we're going to get to it all. Creators, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, this is Tom with the Be Something Wonderful Studios here in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon. <laughs>